Well, if a patient calls and is interested in uh, laser vision correction, uh, then we set up a free screening at our uh, laser center, and they uh, do some uh, uh, scans uh, to look at the patient uh, to assess kind of their uh, candidacy. Um, and if the patient uh, decides to proceed, then they're scheduled for uh, the surgery. Typically, we can do the surgery um, as soon as three days after the dilated exam. Not everyone's an appropriate candidate, and that's why we do uh, so many scans and so much in-depth testing. Our goal, of course, is to uh, make sure we give the patients um, the best vision possible uh, with whatever is appropriate for them. The vast majority of our patients get 20-20 or better. Custom view is a way of measuring all the aberrations that your eye has. Every patient has their own um, eye, eye fingerprint. Um, just like everyone's fingerprint is different, every prescription is different. Custom view is a way of measuring the eye and figuring out what the exact pattern of blur a person has. And then the custom view machine will transfer its information to the laser and the laser will put down a pattern in order to maximize the, the quality of vision because it tries to erase all the aberrations in your eye. This is a, a much more precise, much more accurate and uh, the quality of vision postoperatively um, um, can be significantly better in these patients. With LASIK, what we have to do is we have to uncover the cornea. Um, with eye LASIK, eye LASIK is the most advanced way of doing LASIK. Instead of using a blade, we create the flap with a laser. The laser is the safest and most effective way of getting the flap created for LASIK. Other than the safety, it's also a very accurate way of doing the laser vision correction. Uh, the intralase laser creates a very uniform uh, flap profile which gives us the ability to more accurately do the vision correction with the custom view laser. Uh, with the combination of intralase and custom view, we are able to get the most advanced and most accurate vision correction on a person's eye. As we age, as we get close to into, into the 40s, 45, they start to lose that ability to autofocus to look at things up close. Um, this is a natural aging process called presbyopia. Um, uh, the, uh, so if the patient has both eyes uh, lasered uh, for distance vision, then they would need reading glasses for a fine print up close after the procedure. Uh, one good option for these patients um, that are kind of undergoing this natural aging process is something called monovision, and many patients that are for age 45 and older, we'll consider this as an option. And uh, what that is is uh, uh, the dominant eye, the, that everybody has a dominant eye, uh, is corrected for distance to give you very sharp distance vision. And then the uh, fellow eye, or the non-dominant eye, is corrected left a little bit nearsighted so they can maintain uh, their, their reading and, and a lot of their near activities. You know, some people are scared and uh, uh, kind of, you know, a little bit timid about doing any type of procedure on the eyes. Of course, um, our laser center offers the, uh, or it's the only laser center uh, that offers bladeless LASIK. That means that there's no uh, use of any blades in the procedure. And so that also can kind of uh, quiet some of these fears because a lot of patients, um, the blades or syringes, and these are what, what some of the most common fears that we encounter, but by eliminating that step, uh, many patients uh, uh, um, are, are kind of at a little bit more at ease with the procedure. There's lots of good uh, uh, published articles that can be, they can look up on the internet to look at long-term outcomes. Um, the, uh, both LASIK and PRK have very good uh, outcomes and very stable um, up to 10, 12 years. And that's, uh, that data is readily available on uh, PubMed.com. During medical school, I was able to um, uh, spend some time with um, cornea specialists and also with ophthalmologists, and just seeing the impact that they were able to have on people's lives and their vision uh, was just, just, you know, nothing short of miraculous in some cases. And, and just to be able to affect someone's life in that way was just so meaningful. So I just wanted to be that, be able to provide that to additional patients.